Hi everyone, Wanda here. Happy Monday Night Live. I hope you're all doing well out there. Hi. All right, I already found us. Yay. Well, that's good. So, tonight we have a mixed media project and we st I started this with a Dollar Tree rub on transfer. <laughs> I'm trying to find the little piece I have left and I have misplaced it, of course. Oh, here it is. So this is a little piece I have left. And let me tell you, this was uh, a bit tricky <laughs> to get on there. Um, I was really surprised actually, because in the past these have been super duper easy to transfer on uh, to rocks. So this one is a bit tricky. I am not going to lie. It takes a lot of elbow grease and something really hard to transfer it. So I had a little bit of patching to do around the corners here. And then there is a video on Facebook. Hi, Jen. Thank you. Um, of um, some prep and I'm talking about the decoupage. I showed um, the actual um, decoupage of the skate. I'm looking for the flash here. Okay. So, anyways, um, it is a rub-on transfer. The wood grain back here. Isn't that cool? It looks so real. So, and then I printed out this image. And this is regular paper this time, not tissue paper. Hi, Kathleen. <laughs> and I cut out the portions that I wanted to decoupage. And then these um, parts of the plant and flowers I'm going to attempt to paint. <laughs> So we'll see how this goes. You guys, you know how I am at freehanding stuff. So this could be a complete nightmare. But I think it's going to be fun and pretty. I may actually do a little bit of tracing here real quick before, now that this is dry. Um, before I start. That way I have a little guide there. So... Hi everyone. Wow, there's so many more comments on my TV than on my phone. This is interesting. <laughs> Hi Allison, Lyra. Hello. Cat mom. Okay. So I think I will just sort of trim. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> So, okay, jeez, it's like a puzzle, a really terrible one. <laughs> yeah, that piece tore off and then I got it on sideways, so we're going to ignore that. So here is how this is going to go down. I'm just taking a piece of the washi tape and I'm going to tape it over here. And then I'm going to lift that up, put it in there. <laughs> See, I think I can do this. I think I can. I think I can. Hi, Dini. Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> okay. So. Just going to add these pieces in here so I have a good cheat. I'm using the stylus end of my rhinestone picker tool. Love this thing. Love, love, love it. I don't even know what this thing is right here. There's no paper under there anyway. Okay. So. I 
I just put a few hairs on there. We know what these are, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, pine cone. <laughs> you know, I probably will murder this pine cone. I think I might just turn it into some leaves or some. Oh, let's turn it into holly. Yes, I think I will do that. So I'm imagining three berries. And then, no, see, I'm drawing in my. This is. Okay, I'm going to draw that in later. <laughs> the struggles of Wanda. It's a thing. Oh, yeah. This tool is... It's a gift. Whoever thought up this tool, I hope they're a millionaire. Because <laughs> they deserve it. Yay, I think it worked. Sweet. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side with this one. I have that song in my head from one of my reels. What's your color? <laughs> What's your color? I want to know. It's a cute one. Hi, Marge. <laughs> so I always called Hollyberry mistletoe, and I don't know why, but I think this is mistletoe, right? I don't know. Oh, I don't know what this is then. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I missed a leaf. <laughs> Just this one. And that's why you lift slowly. Okay. I think we're good. And this little bird is so cute. So I'm just going to, I, this is sort of just, you know, a little inspiration here. Uh, to, for, you know, <laughs> I, my, my language skills tonight are they're lacking. They're behind. I spent too many brain cells earlier today, so you guys don't get much. <laughs> I'm all, uh, <laughs> water, Wanda, water. Hi, Bonita. All right, spray. Have I told you how much I love this sprayer? <laughs> it's so to fine mist. It's a fine mist deal. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll be right back.
where my brush is. You know, it's not like we're live or anything. <laughs> I've told the girls, I'm all set up and ready to go. Here I am. No, not really. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what we can do here tonight with this lovely skate. So, again, I was saying, oh, already? I got a bell? What? What? Why does this happen when I walk away? Okay, I got to go back. Sorry. Got to see who did this. Chris! Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, Chris. And guess what? I fixed Scooter. <laughs> no more beating Scooter up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Wow, what a wonderful way to start the night. <laughs> I'm just washing the sizing out of my brushes. <laughs> I love this little brush right here. It's like super pointy, but yeah, it's beefy. So it's not so fine that the water beads off the end of it. You see the difference there? I like it. So what do we think? White boot, red boot. I think I'm going to do foil on the bow. And I like this plaid foil. I think it's so pretty. Nope, this is a rock, uh, Michelle. Sorry. Yeah, you came in just a tad late, but that's okay, hun. Uh, okay, so it's actually, this is a mixed media piece tonight. So it is a Santorini stone. I cut four by four perfect Santorini square that I got from Santorini stones by Shelly. And this is a Dollar Tree uh, rub-on transfer, actually, that I rubbed on to the rock to make it look like wood isn't that great and because I want it to make this and then um, I printed out the image and fussy cut it with a blade a blade tool here cut around the image and then decoupaged it onto my rock so that I could paint it so it would be perfect because I don't draw <laughs> and that's what I'm about. So this channel is about uh, other than ordinary ways to get to the same place with art. So, hi Phyllis, thank you. All right, so I'm actually think I'm gonna put some white paint uh, back here. Let me grab my. Let that be drying while I'm working on the other parts. Oh. Yay. Okay. Ooh, a white glitter skate would be pretty, Betty. I love that. Okay, so I'm painting the leaves white, basically just so they'll have, um, take color better when it's time to paint them. I know I should have just tried to <laughs> get them out of the paper since I'm painting them white, but I just don't think it would have been as pretty. You're welcome. Absolutely, Michelle. We like, um, or I do, I love shortcuts and neat fun um, other than ordinary.
Oh, I <laughs> thanks, Jen. Well, generally, most of these aren't my ideas. They come from you guys. So this, this image was actually suggested by Lydia. So thank you, Lydia. I don't think she's on with us tonight, but thanks, Lydia. Um, she sent me this image and said, oh, this would look so great with your new plaid foil. And I was like, oh my gosh, you ain't kidding. <laughs> so I grabbed the new plaid and here we are. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I should have said that. <laughs> Deco Art Americana Titanium Snow White. Yeah, I already smeared it. <laughs> I'll just make that leaf bigger. Yep, I'm looking at the picture because I already can't see my marks. Bonita, thank you. Thank you so much. Just a second, I will I will start dancing, I promise. Thank you. Bonita, this is for you. And Boomer. <laughs> Look, we're not kicking booty on him no more. I fixed the bell. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Woohoo! And I think I'm going to paint the branch too. Okay. Hi, Katie. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give this shoe a nice, fresh white coat of paint. This shoe, this skate, this boot skate, ice. And yep, I'm covering up that. I'll paint it back in there. I hope. <laughs> Let me try a different brush. This one's just moving the paint around a lot. Okay, so two coats has to go over the dark areas.
So I think I'm going to do the laces gold. Mississippi pot roast. <laughs> that was so good, wasn't it? Yummy. Oh, I missed it. Dini, what'd you have? Fried chicken with gravy, mashed taters, and corn. Well, yep, that is a nice country meal. <laughs> yum, yum. It's what that is. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so our bow. Uh, so what do you guys think? If I do this foil on the plaid areas here, what shall we do with this bow? Hmm. I'm going to see how this. Uh, paint works out here on the rub on transfer. Let's see if I can get any nice. Okay, very good. You guys, this is watercolor and this is amazing. I did do two coats of gesso after um I I used Liquitex Matte Medium to decoupage on the Uh oh. You see it, Jen? Lori? I see it. Get them. Go get them, girls. <laughs> oh, there's two. Here they come. Ignore those. Don't click them. Wow, they are on it tonight, aren't they? That's one, two, three. Goodness. Phyllis, thank you so much. Aw, thanks. And I got cutie. Katie reported it. Roo. Roof, roof. Thank you, Katie, for reporting it. Roo. Thank you, Phyllis. So this is the mistletoe plaid quad. I think there's still three available. I'm not 100% positive on that. Yay. Hi, Luz. Thank you, Lori, for reminding everyone. Yes, friends, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you are enjoying uh, what you're watching, definitely please. Please give me a like. Yes, I'm begging. All right, so I need to draw some holly here. Let, er, mm, okay, draw. There's the scary word. Okay. All right, think, Wanda. So... Give myself something to start with and then did I do that right? I might have. Oh, I missed a oh well, that'll work. Uh, 
I'm going to make, get my brown in here. Activate that. Thank you guys for dealing with that banana stuff for me. Oops, I just saw another one. Where's my white? Doing the second coat down here. Now I have replaced a pine cone here with this holly leaf because, um, yeah, I don't want to draw pine cone. <laughs> Talk about lazy. That's me. Four by four. Yes, it's a four by four Santorini from Miss Shelley. Oh, Katie. <laughs> it's... Thanks, Brian. I know she probably, what, do you almost pass out there when you saw that? <laughs> oh, my word, one is drawn. Put this on the calendar. Okay. Okay. Let's work on the green part. I think I might have to get my smaller brush, an even smaller one, maybe not. Can you guys see this okay?
I know, isn't she? <laughs> Lori, <laughs> we were just talking about that. She's magic. Pretty sure about that. Yeah, this is the crystal set of fine line detail brushes in my shop. It's a crystal, not real crystal, it's acrylic that I call crystal. But it's so pretty, isn't that gorgeous? And there's eight in this set. I can show them all to you. There's some pretty fun ones. Look at that little bitty baby fan brush. Oh my god, it's actually for glitter, but you can use it for whatever you want to. And this is actually a really great brush for watercolor because it's like a thirsty brush. It holds a lot of water and comes to a nice point. And then you have an angled brush here. The three fine liners. There. And then you have two cat's tongue. These two. One's a bit wider than the other one. But it's a really great set. Excellent quality. <laughs> If you're painting rocks, they will tear up just like other brushes. Rocks tend to, you know, destroy brushes. But um, if you reform these when you're done using them and put your little caps back on them that come with them, that'll keep them longer. Chris, look at you, girlfriend. Thank you. Junior says thanks, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I know, woohoo. <laughs> uh, yeah, loose, even Santorini stones tear. That's pretty much all I paint on, and it will fluff out the, the bottom of your brush. Uh, less, obviously, than rough rocks, but... Um, you can prevent some of that by sealing your rocks first. If you use resin, definitely you won't go through your brushes like you do. But I find it very hard to paint on a slick surface. So I really, really, Santorini is just like the cream of the crop. And I know that not everybody has access to them. And I am so sorry about that. But once I found them, I was like, oh, I, I just, I just love them. <laughs> I know, and I think we are going to be doing more stuff not on Santorini, so don't you worry. We will be including more regular, traditional uh, rock art, too. That was a very wide line there. <laughs> okay, we'll see if we can fluff this out a bit. That was my fault. And, of course, it's on the boot. <laughs> Okay, well, that looks all right. Not too bad. Sugar stones. <laughs> That's true. They're smoother than Santorini. I love the whiteness of the Santorini. I won't lie. But sugar stones are very bright as well. And they're not as expensive. So it's a great alternative. It's a good one. Right, boss? If you're wondering who the boss is, that's Katie, Katie Thompson. <laughs> I'm going to turn this over and see if I can do a better job this way.
Aww. Katie's the neck. I like that. I always tell my husband that. I'm the neck that tells the head what to do. <laughs> Basically, that's Katie's nice way of saying, I let you think you're the boss. <laughs> Thanks, love. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> Wait, what? I I hopped the head. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hold the head on. You know, <laughs> you do. She keeps my head on straight, you guys. <laughs> and she's got a firm grip. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I am. I almost had death by pepperoni earlier today. Oh my goodness. I had a leftover pepperoni sandwich from Shalotsky's, and I was enjoying it so much. And like on the last two bites, thankfully it was the last two, um, I inhaled part of the pepperoni into like my wind, like down, it felt like it went like buried in my lung or something. And man, I was coughing. You'd have thought I swallowed a rat or something. It just would not settle. So now I'm very irritated in there and it's causing me to feel like I need to cough. So there you go. I'm not sick, I promise. I'm just weird. <laughs> just weird. <laughs> no way around it. So I'm going to add some brown in here and then add some, I don't know, bits of green. I can't even think about, okay, pine cones are definitely brown and black, right? So, man, it's been a long time. I need to go back. I grew up in the country. Pine trees everywhere in Northern California on a horse farm. And, uh, I can't remember what pine, tree, <laughs> pine trees look like. <laughs> we are buried in pecan trees here. While they're nice, I do miss home. But I haven't lived there in a very long time. I know this looks like one big blob, but I'm hoping to give it some more definition in a bit. <laughs> what kind of farm was it, Connie? Ag or animals. So cool. All right, I'm going to give a little bit of this brown inside our pine. That's a farm. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't do any, um, well, we had a small little private garden, but nothing huge like that. We had, did quarter horses. My aunt, my grandfather and my aunt and uncle cousins were all horse trainers and breeders. And we all kind of lived on the same acreage, um, for some time. And I didn't wasn't I didn't spend my whole childhood there, but a chunk of it. <laughs> All right. 
going to see, I'm going to, whoops, need a new sprayer. This is a, the, the lighter green is a transparent green. And the dark green is very opaque. So I'm going to use, I know these are probably dark green leaves, but I'm going to use this light green first. And then the dark green. I'm not sure if we're dry enough yet. We'll see. And then all of this gets a nice lining at the end, so it'll be defined again. <laughs> Oh, Lori, I'm sorry. <laughs> this brown is from the, um, let me check. I think it's the fire or the earth. Or, oh, let me check. I believe it's from the earth of the four element set. Yeah. Can you see the set there? I know it's all messy, but. Yeah, that set there. I have a few of those left, so and they're discounted right now. <laughs> you can get all four colors. I believe it's $15. So if you're looking for some traditional watercolor paint, you know, the ochres and, oops, well, that works too for a second. Um, no, I'm not ready for that yet. Anyways, if you're looking for traditional um, oxide and ochre style paints, Um, we are starting to work on those and they are, the four element sets are still in the store. And then this is also traditional watercolor and this is metallic. And I am going to be having, if I can get it together, a really cool uh, New Year's set and a primary set that I'm going to show you guys how to make face tones with them so you can mix your own colors right I know you don't believe me but it's for real <laughs> it's the real deal I promise see all these colors right here they were made with primary yellow red and blue only no other colors just those three And you know, I swatched these out yesterday and I showed them on, we were on a live room in the group and I don't know where I put them after that, which is a dang shame because they were perfect. And I don't know where they went. Because I swatched them out with neons and with the primaries and they're very similar. You'd be surprised. Hi, Bambi. yellow the primary three primary colors um in color theory or on the color wheel are red yellow and blue and with those three colors all other colors come from those three colors and then you have your hue black um and tones and values which are you know your black and your white which create gray but all, if you put all of the primary colors together, you basically can make black and then gray. And it's all a combination of um, how much of each color. You know, it's 
it is trial and error and you will figure it out actually pretty fast when you just start mixing them you just start throwing some colors down you're welcome but I am gonna do a I don't know if it's gonna be a course class or a free tutorial I'm not positive yet on color mixing and basically color theory which is can be quite boring for some people so I don't think that everybody would be interested in that Definitely the color wheel is a really great tool when mixing colors. Yep. I usually have one sitting here next to me and I haven't seen it in a while. Okay, and this one is definitely going to be the darker color. My strange little holly here. <laughs> My holly on a diet, right? <laughs> Chris! <laughs> Thank you, sister! Oh my goodness! What a huge blessing. Thank you! Happy holiday time, she says, y'all. Buster's dancing. Thank you. <laughs> Very much. Thank you. So cool. I know, Corny. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> you did. You're getting me. <laughs> You're going to get me all crying. <laughs> I'm a sentimental menopausal old woman. <laughs> Allison, thank you. <laughs> wow. Woohoo. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. <laughs> Chris, I might be a millionaire by then. No, I'm just kidding. 
I don't know. Maybe an hour, maybe more. I just depends on how fast I can get through this. <laughs> Forgot to put my branches in here. And Katie, <laughs> yes, and Lori and Jen, you guys, oh my gosh, thank you so much for moderating in the groups and on my YouTube. It's huge. And Katie. So anybody know what kind of bird this is? I don't think it's a uh, cardinal. It's got a black head and a black uh, belly. What kind of bird is that? So I even know what to paint it. Is it a dove? A chickadee? Doesn't seem like a dove, but could be. Good night, Allison. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, if the black isn't supposed to be there, I could see that being a dove. Totally. But I've never messed that up. It's probably a dove. Black cape chickadees. What color are they? What color is their body? Are they winter birds? It's a wanda bird. I love it. Thank you. Yes. Ooh, that's a pretty sounding bird. I'll have to work on that. Uh, these leaves are a little, a little difficult here. Let me make some color here. I don't.
we're at that weird, awkward, ugly stage with everything. <laughs> joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. No. I'll get that one in a minute. It's still too wet. It's hard to see. Maybe that'll work. All right, got to turn it back on because I can't see nothing. <laughs> it's a cookie tray. <laughs> it's a plastic plate that came with a deep cover on it, and it had cookies everywhere on it. It's a plastic, and it's from H-E-B, and it makes a really cool plate to play with i mean it, when it gets scratched up it stains you know the paint sticks to it but for a little while it's pretty cool so yeah okay let's do well, we're waiting for that stuff to dry let's do some gold And this gold, if you miss out on the quad here, is available in the metallic shimmer shots. It's called Yucatan Gold. And I don't think I have any in singles right now, but it will be in the future. Or if you don't have the metallics, it's a really great set to have. And you'll see in just a moment, I'm going to use the silver on the boot. So I'm pretty sure we decided gold for the bow. Chris, <laughs> girl, <laughs> you are so sweet. All of you are so sweet. Thank you, Chris. Oh, my, my. Here comes the waterworks. And the bells. <laughs> Oops, they won't work on the plate. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Bambi was asking about the background. Yep, it's a rub-on transfer. I know, hard to believe, right? From the Dollar Tree. Cool way to get some a nice wood panel look in the background, right? Yo, what's this mess behind the skate? <laughs> I'm sure. It's Wanda's in, in, you know, idea of a wall. <laughs> Ooh, look, I think that should be. I kind of feel like maybe um, I should have a cute, you know, top that you're tucking <laughs> ones in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where I like get impatient because I want to see the the pretty you know <laughs> details <laughs> And it's kind of a mess for a while. So, dun dun dun, elevator music, right? Now, I have a question for you guys. So, you see these areas that I didn't cut around this bow. I didn't even think that they were the wood background because they didn't have any wood grain in them, but they're the spaces in between, which could be the inside of the bow too. What color should we paint that? <laughs> Dini Silver's good. Lori, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to have silver here on the shoe, too. So, it's Jen. Yes, sister, thank you. Thank you, Jen from Canada. Thank you. 
Do you guys remember? Yeah. <gasps> Where is my silver? Oh no. I found it. Now I gotta use my machine here. Hold on. It's gonna be buzzy, so. <laughs> it is such a cool thing to have when you have lots of shimmer shots or things that you need to shake up. Wow, that thing is awesome. <laughs> It's a big shaky machine. Connie, thank you. And a pink poopy. <laughs> pink bell. <laughs> woo, woo. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thanks. So that buzzy vibration noise is the mixer, the paint mixer thingy, so I don't have to shake it 500 times. And this is the silver in the metallic shimmer shots. So we will do our silver areas. Yes, the mini vortex. Thanks, Lori. I couldn't think what it was called. The mini vortex. And there, if you're interested in seeing what that is, Lori put the link right there for you. I think silver was a good call, guys. I put way too much drops down there. You can see you will just need a drop, really, of the shimmer shots. They are like pure pigment. And I sent Lori and Katie a video this morning. Um, I know, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Um, of the shaving cream marble method. I don't know if you guys have ever done that before. A lot of times they do it with kids. Anyways, they put like food coloring or watercolor paint. They drop it onto the shaving. They put a plate out with shaving cream all over it. And then you drop drips in it. So it's basically like alcohol swirling, but in shaving cream instead of resin. <laughs> so imagine the shimmer shots. You drip it into the shaving cream and then just take a pencil or a brush or whatever and swirl it around and then dip your rock into it or dip a paper into it and then transfer that to your rock and let it dry. It makes some interesting, pretty cool patterns. So, See, I think this part of the bow should be the background, but I don't know. If I was confident, I could mix a good gray, but I have this crazy black, <laughs> which is another. I think I'll use black shimmer instead of crazy black. Um... My crazy black is very, very black. Mix that with a little white acrylic. And a little brown. You gotta be careful not to put acrylic in your watercolor. <laughs> I 
We're getting close. I'm trying to make this color back here. Yay, we can do this. We can do this. We're going to color match and make some wood grain back here, maybe. And we'll let that dry for a bit. You know, I'm thinking maybe the silver is not what we should be putting down here. Yeah, I think more of a pirate or the old antique gold from the last set. Hmm, I don't have one up here. See? Oh, it smells so good. They're made with mint this time, so it smells minty, like peppermint. Of course, the inspiration photo I printed out has a pair of covered blades <laughs> on the ice skates. So, they're, I don't even know if they're called blades, but rails, maybe. Oh, you guys, if you are worried about this background, on Facebook, this image is there in the event. You can print it out and decoupage the whole thing on there and then just paint the background. Yay, Chris, bring it. Bow, chicka, wow, chicka, wow, chicka, wow. <laughs> 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 
Bow, chicka, wow. Woohoo! Sing it. Thank you. Oh, I remember. I wanted to do the laces gold too. Oh no. <laughs> I've never been ice skating. I don't, I've never been skiing either. Those are two things that have just always looked very painful to me. <laughs> you know, skating I did, you know, and I had my fear of falls. So I just felt like, mm, yeah, no, don't need to, I don't need to go there. <laughs> You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of red. <laughs> go, Chris, go! <laughs> on these berries. And then I'm going to use the dimensional paint that I'm working on still. Maybe. I don't know if it'll... Because these berries are very close together, so let me see here. So needs some details in the pine cones. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this looks, looks like a mess. Why? Oh, why did I have to pick pine cones? Lord. Which way is this going? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, whatever. Here, little birdie. Okay, so I think the word, the, the word, the bird is going to be white. <laughs> woo, woo, tonight. <laughs> Bell, sorry, Bell. Oh, I missed it. Oops, who did I miss? Jen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can ring my bell, ring my bell. I have no voice today from coughing. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Um, I know I need to do foil and then we need to line some things. Lots of things. But I want to do some, 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 some thing right here. Almost looks like it should be wood grain back there. Does it look like it's part of the wood grain now? I think so. I think we're dry. Okay, black pen. Oh boy, I'm probably going to have to get my brush and paint out. I can feel my hand being slippy. Hmm. It's the darnest thing. What did I miss? Giggle. <laughs> okay, this is Liquid Ink by Dela Rowning in black. And I'm going to try to do my lining with that instead because. I'm not doing very good with the pen. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I, d I don't think I want to go skiing because I, the whole, you know, falling down on your face thing just <laughs> ruins it for me. <laughs> I'm trying to get down here so you can see. I'm going to keep bumping the camera. This does not look like a pine cone. <laughs> Well, me and the pine cone are not friends.
Aw, thank you for hitting the like button. Yeah, there's 19 likes and 23 people on here. <clears throat> hey. I still love you. Aw, see, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Aw, mm, you guys are awesome. See? <laughs> oh, see, now it's perfect. 22 and 22. Bless y'all, thank you. Do you know how much that helps the, I know, algorithm? <laughs> it does so much. The more attention you give me here, it, not monetary. I mean, that's nice too. I just totally made a mess there. Um, helps us in the search engine so people can find us better because they like to put up popular stuff. You know, when people search for a thing. Wow, that's a messy bow there. <laughs> Ah, uh, wow. That's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> now we have more likes than people. That's a big statement. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you. You know, it's funny, Jen, I go out and like myself, too. Like, I, you're allowed to like your own stuff one time. <laughs> so I do. I'm like, heck yeah. If it helps, I'm going to like my stuff. So you guys will always see me liking all my stuff. <laughs> it's not conceit. It's desperation. <laughs> I really want the channel to grow, you know, so we can keep having lots of fun and hanging out together. Aw, that's a lot of faith you have in me. Thanks, Jen. You know, this gets harder <laughs> the older I get lining. It is just hard. Lining with pen or brush. This would be a lot worse with a pen, though. Trust me. Some days I can do it really well. Other days I just don't got it. <laughs> but it's okay. I think I'm going to leave that other pine cone alone because it scares me. <laughs> scary pine cones.
Now you guys know why I don't draw. Have you told a rock? Oh, what? Oh, foil. <laughs> I'll be foiling here uh, in, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, who's Toby? <laughs> I must have missed it. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are laughing about, but I'm laughing at you laughing. Oh, uh oh, is that a bit? <laughs> I'm the Heimlicking. <laughs> That's um <laughs> okay. <laughs> there goes my hand shaking. <laughs> no best in stitches, Bonita. <laughs> I don't know if you have any, but don't bust them. Well, that's helping the leaves a little bit, huh?
I'm so glad you guys keep each other company while I'm all quiet and in my painting. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> and that's why live is fun. Saved by my peeps. Oh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Nine ninety five <laughs> tonight only. little birdie dude. I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, branches time. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, you never look at this stuff when you're picking out a project and then all of a sudden, <coughs> boom, you're into these details and you're like, whoa, I don't remember it looking this. I think I'm going to leave the bird white. Jen said white bird, right? Cool thing about branches is they're never straight and they have like, you know, texture. So you can do things to them. Yay. Okay, white bird. All right, let's foil this. Uh, 
I do stay down there. I whip so it's not even the right color. Oh, wow, Phyllis. <laughs> that is hard. We gave up on all that. No, we don't wear it anymore because it's too much nowadays. You're right. Too much. Okay, you guys were asking about primary colors earlier. Uh, blue, red, yellow. Those are the primaries. Good night, Marge. Chris. So you do, huh? You think you want some more bells? For oh, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good gravy. Thank you. Right, I got some gloves. See, <laughs> I saw Chris say bells and I threw my gloves. <laughs> I better grab the bell. <laughs> glue, 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 glue. To grab a piece of this paper. Use it for my glue dish. And this is Barano Nail Art Foil Glue. So here we are going to foil the plaid part. <laughs> Lori has ESP. Dang, this is going to drive me banana.
This is a disposable eyeliner brush that I'm using with the glue. And that is so um, you don't have to worry about ruining your brushes or, you know, mess. I know there's a little waste involved here, but I have an allergy. So mainly, I do suggest it because they have a great point and you can get into little tiny places like this with the brush. And you cannot do that with the nail polish brush. So I do recommend these for nooks and crannies. Um, and if you don't want to use brushes, you can cut your own out of an old brush. You know, remove some bristles and make a pointy brush or little detail brush and if you want to reuse these brushes you can you need to clean them really well with alcohol and they will be stiff but they're still reusable Now I'm going to gently do that because we're on a rub-on transfer that is plastic. <laughs> and hit it with the light. Ooh, look at all that. Nice blurry picture there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Now I think I want it to go this way, so I'm going to cut it and use it twice like this. And then I'm going to burnish it in. Sorry about the blur. I forget and I put my finger up in the camera. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yay. So this is kind of a thing with the edges. If you don't get that glue all the way to the edges, it's real hard to tell sometimes where your glue is at. So what you can do is go ahead and lift your foil. See the edges there that don't have the foil around it? Then you can re-glue. Or I'm going to try something here. Because sometimes your glue is just mounded just enough where the foil didn't reach down around the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and use my stylus and see if that, oh, that helps a ton. See there? Now it's all the way to the edge. So if you've got some edges that aren't laying down the way you want, you can use your tools. Just don't gouge at it because it will um, damage it.
And then don't lift up your foil either all the way until you are ready. Like the other one I lifted off. And I shouldn't have. Most of the time you can get away with not having to do this because the details aren't, you see I don't have any glue there, aren't usually this picky, finicky. Okay, so up around here I'm going to try to match something close to that. Actually, I'm just going to try to put this one back on there. <laughs> And then the back side of this one, right in here. And then around this one. You know, I thought that was the edge, but that's actually green foil right there. Ha! Oh, yay. You guys still with me? It says I got kicked off. No. <laughs> You still there? Okay, good. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so there's the foil. Isn't it pretty? I think that's so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to take the pen. Try. Actually, I'm going to move this out of the way. Try to tidy up the bow. Night, Kathleen. Yay. I'm so glad you guys are still here with me. Thank you. I don't know why it does that. It says you are now connected. Like I lost you and then sometimes it is just you're gone.
All right, someone requested glitter on the shoes. So let's do it. But first, no, let's do glitter on the shoe first. <laughs> just now, just now, just now. I think I'm going to use, boy, I don't even, you guys can't, <laughs> can't even see it. It just looks completely white. Lord, there. Can you guys see that one? It's like a super fine sparkle. Super fine. And this one will be in the shop, I think, tomorrow. I need to check it again. So this is even more fine than fine snowflake. This is like micro fine. Yeah, it's silly. You got to turn off the flash sometimes to see it because they shine too much. But I didn't activate it, so I'm just... Uh, this one also activates faster because it's smaller particles. So gorgeous. This is also in Shimmer Shots, the uh, five pack with the black, uh, white, flat black, flat white, shimmer black, shimmer white, and transparent. This is the transparent in a different binder, but it's the same glitter. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, okay. So. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to glitter the boot. And you don't want to do this on top of watercolor. Um, you want to do, like when you're painting, using these on top of other colors. If you want to do it on top of watercolor, you just need to spray it first, okay? Because it just will move watercolor around. So i got to be very careful not to touch the gold or... <laughs> Yeah, but here's going to be fun. I might not be able to do the heel. Or we can just make it look a little glittery by touching a few places. Should we glitter the bird? Why not? There, Mr. Bird. <laughs> it does no justice see there where it leaked into the gold. I don't want to touch it because if you do, then it will just smear everywhere. And the black there leaked up. Ah! Darn it. It's okay. I will be touching up the white for sure. Okay, so now the <laughs> berries. Let's see if I can do it. I don't know because they're real close together. So this might just end up glopping together. Let me see if I can use this tiny tube. Probably not. Oh, I can. Yes. Okay. The key here is no touching.
This is a formula that I'm working on, so it is not available. And I don't know when it will be available, if if it will be available. I'm really working on the formula, so but right now it is nowhere near perfect. So and the you know delivery <laughs> system like packaging. So there's a lot that goes into making a product, you know, and then getting it out there. Now these will self-level, so those tips on them don't stay pointy. Lift this up so you can see it. Aren't they cute? Maybe those two might touch, but not if I leave it alone. <laughs> oh yeah, rhinestones would be gorgeous. Absolutely. I still may do some in the pine cones and get rid of those ickiness. Oh my word. I need to definitely do something with the pine cones. I'm not digging that. Oh, maybe some of these stickers. Let's see. What can we hide the pine cones with? Some snowflakes? <laughs> Should we cover them or leave them? The pine cones. <laughs> the weird cones. Oh, Lori Bugs. Thank you. I don't know why I call her that. That's not her name. <laughs> Just smack me. <laughs> Thank you. Silly me getting delirious here. So let me sign. Hmm. I still think I should put something somewhere. <laughs> hey, Katie. Woohoo! So, what do you think? Yeah, they touched. Darn it. Oh, well. I'm not going to move them that much, so maybe they won't go too close together. All right, you guys. That's all I got for you tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this crazy multi-mixed-media madness <laughs> of a rock. So we had a rub-on transfer. We had acrylic watercolor pen ink, um, two different, um, well, glues, basically. You've got Liquitex, uh, which is a glue-based, PVA-based matte medium, and then a Clear Texture Gesso by Montmart, and all of this business. So you had two different kinds of paint, a pen and ink and foil and glues, and yeah, so there was a bunch of stuff going on there. So thank you guys very, thank you guys so much for um, hanging out and the donations. Chris, thank you. Phyllis, Jen, um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I know. Who else was it? Uh, Lori, who was the first one? Oh my gosh, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta go back to the comments. Ay, 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 anyways, thank you every single one of you for being here. And I, you know, I'm not saying those of you who didn't donate. I'm just saying everybody. I love you all. Thank you so much. And I will see you again Wednesday with Miss Katie Phyllis. Thank you. Phyllis, Phyllis, Phyllis. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know where Buddy went. Oh, there he is. Thank you, guys. Really, you made me feel very special tonight. I appreciate you. All right, take care. We'll see you Wednesday.